Hello, this is Heather with Change Path Crochet. In this video, I'd like to show you how to make the mini corner to corner stitch. Mini corner to corner is a smaller version of the regular corner to corner stitch, also known as C2C. Now the regular corner to corner stitch uses double crochets. And this is a four by four grid using the double crochets. When you use half double crochets, which is the mini corner to corner stitch, it comes out much smaller, which is why they call it mini. So this is the same uh, four by four and four by four. And you can see that the mini corner to corner comes out about three quarters the size of the regular corner to corner stitch. So let's do the mini. If you'd like to know how to do the regular corner to corner stitch, I do have a video on that. So you can look through the video list and find the corner to corner stitch. So for the mini corner to corner stitch, we're going to start with a slip knot and chain four. To make the first square, we want to do two half double crochet stitches in the third and the fourth chains from the hook. So to do a half double, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook in that third chain, pull up a loop. So now I have three. And then I'm going to yarn over and do, pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. So that's one half double crochet. I need to do another one in this last chain. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. So I have three on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's my first square for the mini corner to corner stitch. Now, the corner to corner is done kind of like stairs. So I need to chain four. And then again, I want to do two half double crochets in the third and fourth chains. And then what I need to do is flip this first square like that. So it was kind of hanging down there. Just flip it over so that the chain two is now at the top here. And so then I need to take that, find that hole, <laughs> the chain two hole, insert my hook in there and do a slip stitch to join it. So now I have two squares. I need to chain two and in that same space, that chain two space, I'm going to do two half double crochets. So there we go. That's our second row and we've got three squares. So this, start the third row the same way, chain four. <clears throat> two half double crochets in the third and fourth chain. Flip it over so that this chain two from the last square we did is on top now. And then I will do a slip stitch in that chain two. And then chain two, do two half double crochets in that same space yarn's getting stuck of course <laughs> and then slip stitch in that next square the chain two on top of that square chain two and then two half doubles in that same space okay so that's row three I'll do one more row and then I'll show you how to decrease to make it a square. Because otherwise, if you just keep going, you'll make a big triangle. So again, chain four, two half doubles, one in the third and one in the fourth chain from the hook. Flip it up like that. And then slip stitch in that chain two space on top of the next square 
chain two, two half doubles, slip stitch in the top of the next square, chain two, two half doubles, and you just keep going like this. Slip stitch in the top of the next one, chain two, and two half doubles. That gets me to the top. So that's row four. So now what I need to do is close this off so that it makes a square. So I don't wanna do a chain four and go this way and make another square up here. Instead, what I wanna do is just slip stitch across here to close off this corner. So I'm going to turn and then slip stitch in these two stitches in this square and also in the chain two space. And as I do that, I'm gonna kind of turn it so that it's facing the other way. So chain two and in that same chain two space, I'm going to do two half double crochets. Snip my yarn here. And then just like before, we're going to slip stitch in the top of the next square, chain two, two half double crochets slip stitch in the top of the next square, chain two, and then two half double crochet stitches. And slip stitch to the top of the next square. But that's where I'm going to stop. Because again, I want a four by four square. If I did one more square, I'd have five here. So I wanna just stop here after I crochet in the next to last square on that previous row. Okay, so now we're going to turn and slip stitch in the square we just made, these two, slip stitch in the two half double crochets, and also in the chain two on the side there. Kind of rotate it as you do that. So now you're gonna walk up the stairs this way. So chain two and two half doubles in that same space. Slip stitch in the next stitch or in the next square. <laughs> chain two and two half doubles. And again, this is where I wanna stop with a slip stitch in the top of this next square so I don't go any further. And I have one little square left in the corner here to get. So I'm going to turn and slip stitch in these two half double crochets I just made and in the chain two on the side, chain two, and two half double crochets. And slip stitch to the chain two on top of the next square. And now I'm done. So I've made a four by four mini corner to corner stitch. Now you can make this as big as you want. Just keep increasing until it's the width that you want and then start decreasing like I did. It's a great way to make a blanket. And especially if you're, you wanna make a graph gan, um, if you have a really detailed picture that you wanna put on to a blanket, the mini corner to corner stitch is a great way to do that and not have it look too pixelated. I made a baby blanket just recently, a few months ago, using the mini corner to corner stitch and I'll go ahead and insert that in the video so you can see it just briefly. So that's an example of what you can do with the mini corner to corner stitch. And I also uh, made these fingerless gloves with the mini corner to corner stitch. 
So if you make something small, the mini corner to corner stitch is also helpful. And I'll put a link to the pattern in the comments. So that's the mini corner to corner stitch. If you have any questions, please add a comment below and I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.